Hi there, and welcome to this day in history for August 22nd. August 22nd is the 234th day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, 235th in leap years, with 131 days remaining to the end of the year. Today's word is nouveau riche. This comes to us from French and refers to those who have recently become rich, come into a lot of money, and display their wealth in an ostentatious manner, as if they have something to prove. <laughs> the term literally means new rich. And with that, we are going to start on August 22nd, 1559, when Spanish Archbishop Bartolome Carranza was arrested for heresy. He had taught theology for about three years when someone denounced him to the Inquisition as limiting the papal power and leaning towards some opinions that they wanted quashed. Those first charges failed. He was later persecuted by the Spanish Inquisition and spent about 18 of the last years of his life in prison on charges of heresy, in prison but not tried. The final judgment found no proof of heresy, but they sought to keep him locked up anyway. He died shortly afterwards. The first air raid in history took place on August 22, 1849, when Austria launched pilotless balloons against the city of Venice. This is the birthday of French pianist and composer Claude Debussy, born August 22, 1862. He lived to the age of 55. This is the birthday of American poet, short story writer, critic, and satirist Dorothy Parker, born August 22, 1893. One of her famous pieces is a, just a brief two-lined poem titled, News Item, <laughs> Men Seldom Make Passes at Girls Who Wear Glasses. <laughs> Dorothy Parker lived to the age of 73. The Cadillac Motor Company was founded on August 22, 1902. Theodore Roosevelt became the first president of the United States to make a public appearance in an automobile on August 22, 1902. Oh, wow. This is a birthday of American science fiction writer and screenwriter Ray Bradbury, born August 22, 1920. He wrote a novel called Fahrenheit 451, published in 1953, and some science fiction horror story collections the Martian Chronicles and The Illustrated Man and I Sing the Body Electric. Most of his work is fantasy fiction, but he also wrote in other genre and consulted on screenplays and television scripts. He's been called the writer most responsible for bringing modern science fiction into the literary mainstream. In reading about him, I get the impression that he really wanted to be in show business and Sure enough, he felt at a young age that he would be going into one of the arts. He first got paid as a writer when he was 14 <laughs> for a joke that he sold to George Burns to use on the Burns and Allen radio show. Early on, he formed a habit of writing every day. I certainly admire that. Also, he didn't have money for college, so as he tells it, he went to the library three days a week for 10 years. Of course, now we have the internet. Now here's what Ray Bradbury said about his inspiration. <laughs> My stories run up and bite me in the leg. I respond by writing them down, <laughs> everything that goes on during the bite. When I finish, the idea lets go and runs off. There's some great imagery for you, don't you think? Well, I think I could probably go on about Ray Bradbury for hours, but we do have other things to talk about today, so great writer, Ray Bradbury. He lived to the age of 91. This is the birthday of baseball great Carl Yastrzemski, born on August 22, 1939. He played his entire major league career with the Boston Red Sox and was elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1989. This is the birthday of actress Cindy Williams, born August 22, 1947. She's perhaps best known for her role as Shirley Feeney on the television sitcom Laverne and Shirley. This is the birthday of long-distance swimmer Diana Nyad, born August 22, 1949. Baby, that girl has done her some swimming, that's for sure. She swam 28 miles around Manhattan in 1975, 
102 miles from North Bimini, Bahamas to Juneau Beach, Florida in 1979 and became the first person confirmed to swim from Cuba to Florida without the use of a shark cage in 2013. That one was a 110 mile swim. In addition to swimming, she has written several books, has worked as a motivational speaker, Diana Nyad. Canada experienced a strong earthquake on August 22, 1949, known as the Queen Charlotte earthquake. It was the strongest since the 1700 Cascadia earthquake. The penal colony on Devil's Island was permanently closed on August 22, 1953. This is the birthday of baseball great Paul Molitor, born August 22, 1956. His nicknames are Molly and the Igniter. <laughs> I was working at the National Baseball Hall of Fame and Museum the year that he was inducted along with Dennis Eggersley in 2004. We affectionately referred to them as Eck and Molly. This is the birthday of Debbie Peterson, born August 22, 1961. She's the drummer of the band The Bangles. The Bangles had a good number of hits in the 80s and I think my favorite will have to be Walk Like an Egyptian. Walk like an Egyptian. I've included a link to this entertaining video in the show notes, and Debbie's the one with the tambourine. On August 22nd of 1963, X-15 Flight 91 reached the highest altitude of the X-15 program at 67.8 miles or 354,200 feet or 107.96 kilometers. When I see that 107.96, it reminds me of a radio station, <laughs> but it was kilometers. Nolan Ryan struck out Ricky Henderson on August 22nd, 1989, thereby becoming the first Major League Baseball pitcher to record 5,000 strikeouts. <sighs> Nolan Ryan was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame on the first vote in 1999. And I think that's going to do it for us today. Thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share this video with a link in your email, messaging, or social media. If you enjoy this series, you can check out the playlist that contains these videos. I'll put a link to that in the description. That description lives on YouTube, so for other platforms, I'll include the link to my blog page that is called, no really. <laughs> you can also find me on Rumble, Parlor, BitChute, and Gitter. All those links in that description. Alrighty, that's all I can think of right now. Thanks again and I'll see you next time.